Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good morning, I'm Denita Harris. I'm Mike Brookbank. Here's a look at your top local stories. Northeast Ohio's newest gold medalist is back home after competing in the Tokyo Games. Katie Najat flew into Cleveland Hopkins Airport last night. She brought home the medal in women's pole vault for Team USA. Katie is a graduate of Ashland University and she grew up in Olmstead Township. She says she could feel the support of her hometown all the way in Japan. It's as good as it gets. It makes what I did that much better having people to celebrate with. Today, the North Olmstead community will celebrate Katie's accomplishment at 5 p.m. at Village Green Park in Olmstead Falls. A Cleveland mother says that she believes her son, who says he did not point a gun at an off-duty Cleveland police officer outside the Giant Eagle on West 117th. Back on August 2nd, the off-duty officer shot 21-year-old Melvin Robertson in the hip after an argument inside the store. Now, Cleveland police say Officer Robert Taylor was working security there. He told investigators that Robertson pointed a gun at him, so he fired two shots out of fear for his life. Robertson's mother admits that her son had a gun in his pocket, but she believes her son didn't present a threat, saying he was running away from the officer. He wasn't a threat to you at all. All he was doing was just running away. And you shot my son like a, like a dog. The Cleveland Police Union president told News 5 he disagrees with the Robertson family account of the incident, saying Robertson had plenty of opportunity to get rid of the gun while he was inside of the store. Cleveland police say gun was found at the scene. Robertson is charged with receiving stolen property and having a weapon under disability. You can read more about this story on our app and website. Of course, we will continue to follow it. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here's meteorologist Katie McGraw. It was a pretty quiet start to the day, but now we're starting to see a few isolated showers pop up. Most of these are pretty light well out to the west near the islands, down through Seneca County. But I do think we'll see a few more passing showers throughout the morning hours. But the best chance for activity is going to be in the late afternoon to this evening. And once again, some of these showers and storms could be on the strong to severe side. Temperatures take a bit of a dip today. They're going to be into the middle 80s rather than the upper 80s and 90s. And here is that severe weather risk. It does not include everybody, mainly down to the south and east, and the threats are basically the same. Damaging wind gusts, frequent lightning, and flash flooding. That threat goes up a little bit today because it has been so rainy and active. You see these passing showers that are lining up with what we're seeing on the radar for the morning. Those clouds will be intermittent throughout the day, but here we are at 6 p.m., and, and storms certainly do become more likely. Some heavy rain possible, and yes, some strong to severe storms drying out by tomorrow. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.